ask a question real quick. What, what should we do to be saved? Keep the commandments. Keep That's it? What about you? What about you? How was shot? What about the one you call Jesus? Keep the commandments to get saved? Yeah, that's it. That ain't too brotherly, man. <laughs> so Lord, just died in vain. Right, right, right. Right. Oh, uh, they probably got scared. They ain't got nothing to say, man. I want to give all praise, all honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, brothers, to the four corners of the earth, teaching this word in truth and sincerity. All right, and as you just heard, IUIC is spelling this doctrine out that in order to be saved, you have to keep the commandments. Now, according to the scriptures, we know that no one will be justified by their works. Okay, you will not be justified of keeping the law. Because in all honest actuality, not, not one of us can keep this whole law entirely in this captivity. Not one of us. Okay, so there's a reason why we, uh, we, we, uh, we, we preach faith as well. Okay. Because this thing right now is it's about faith. Yes, we do establish the law. Here at Great Millstone and then on down to teach the doctrine of, of great apostles and elders at Great Millstone. We teach faith, but also uh, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability as well. Like I just said before. But IUIC is teaching that in order to be saved, you have to keep the commandments. That doctrine is off. And then there's another video that I gotta find, you know, or that I see on social media that IUIC pushes as well. They say, um, uh, what is gonna happen when Yahweh Shah come back, who they call as uh, Christ, or they call as Jesus. We know him as Yahweh Shah because that's his name, in the ancient Paleo Hebrew. They say, what are you going to do without if you don't have your fringes on when you how shall I get back? What scripture is that? Okay. Because like I always like to say, it's not about your uh your physical garment. Okay, they're worried about your physical garment. When this thing is about your spiritual garment. Okay? It's what it, uh, uh, what are you going to do when you how shall I get back? Are you going to have on your spiritual garment? Or you're going to be worried about the physical garment. Okay? Because the physical garment will be burnt up. Okay? But, you know, that may be another topic for another day. Because I know they also... I know they use um, Isaiah... I believe it's... For Isaiah, the 52nd chapter. When it says, Awake, awake. Put on thy strength, O Zion, and put on thy beautiful garments. Hey, IUIC be, you know, I know, and I see a lot of their women too be saying as far as their uh their physical garments when that's talking about your spiritual garments. Okay, well back on topic. You know, IUIC is, is is screaming. As you can see on the video, that in order to be saved, like the brothers have asked them, keep the commandments. You know, it says evil men. Show wax worse and worse and, and, and all you sincere brothers That's truly uh, You know in the faith You need to wake up And come out, out of that madness Of the IUI, IUIC congregation Okay And we know only the elect will right, But without further ado I want to uh, You know Defend the gospel You know And this is not out of strife You know This is just about uh, Defending the gospel Right, because we are set for the defense of the gospel, and this is about doctrine. This is why we get on you guys because you are going off according to the doctrine. Okay, so without further ado, without me rambling on, Ephesians 2, verse 8, it reads It says, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of the Most High. Right, okay, so for by grace you are saved through faith. Okay, and we here uh, the teaches the, from the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. We say, we tell you this thing is 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 based off faith. Okay, 
That's why they like to call us faith-based Israelites. But so be it, okay? Because this thing is about faith. Now, do we tell people to keep the law? Yes, we establish the law. We tell you to keep the law, statutes, and the commandments to the best of your ability, you know. But this is also about faith as well. Because we know faith is there without works. And we show our faith, you know, by doing the works. Okay? But just making a statement that's saying to be ordered to be saved, you have to keep the commandments, that's false doctrine. Okay? Because we know no one will be justified by the law. Okay? And I'm going to bring all this out, Lord Will, and, and break down this false doctrine that IUIC is spilling out within this lesson. Okay, so Ephesians 2, verse 8 again, it says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of the Most High. Yeah, okay, that's right. And that's right. And the brothers did bring out a good point. They said, so you have a died in vain? Because that's what y'all basically saying for, uh, according to if if uh, we have to keep the law or uh, in order to be saved, you know. Our forefathers couldn't even keep the law, you know. And, and and we're in, and they were and first they started not even in captivity, and we're under captivity right now. We can't keep the law, so for that statement that you're making that in order to be saved you have to keep the commandments, no one will be saved, okay? No one, because no one can keep the the whole law entirely, okay? And I'm gonna bring that out, but. I'm not, I'm not going I'm gonna continue to stress this can't stress this enough that you know this thing is about faith all right so from there I want to get let's get um James <clears throat> two verse 10 right it says for whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. See? You know? So, if you're keeping a law, right? I mean, that's very plain. I really don't have to break it down. If you just break one thing of the law, and you're keeping them all, and you just break one, or you offend at one point, you're guilty of them all. Okay? So that means entirely that you cannot break one single law. Okay? Um, verse, hold on, you know what, I would like to get this first, it's a lot, you know, Galatians 2, verse 11, and we'll go, we'll go right back to that, and it reads, Actually, Galatians 3, verse 11. And it reads. So the verse 10, it says, For as many as are the works of the law are under the curse, for it is written, Curse is everyone that continueth not in all the things which are written in the book of the law to do them, but that no man is justified by the law in the sight of the Most High. It is evident for the just shall live by faith. That's right, okay? And that's why they like to call us faith-based Israelites, okay? And we're fine with that, okay? We know this thing is about faith because we know uh, we don't boast on the flesh and the works of the law because we know we won't be justified by the law, okay? Verse 12, it says, And the law is not of faith, but the man that doeth them shall live in them, right? Okay? So... You know, you should do the law. Okay, you should you should live on it. Okay, that's how we govern and order order ourselves as well. You know, trying to keep the things that we can to the best of our ability. Verse thirteen it says, Yahweh has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being a curse for us, for it is written, Curse is everyone that hangs on a tree. Um, right, because Yahweh took upon took upon us I mean took upon that curse for us okay uh you know through him and through faith that we are able to be saved 
Okay? Not just about the law. I want to jump to verse 21. And it reads, No, I can continue on. It says, verse 14, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Yahweh Shah Mashiach, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith, right? And Gentiles talk, speaking of the Israelite foreigners. But the point is that I wanted to get says that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Okay. So this keep it keeps mentioning faith. Why? Because this is also about faith. Not just about keeping the law. Okay, and a lot of you people out here, you, you really just, you don't have faith at all, okay? You know, you, you believe in your, uh, believe things and you can see, all right? Because the whole world is covered in darkness, but you people out here are faithless, but mainly I want to speak on you, you other Israelite groups, okay? Y'all don't push faith out there, okay? And this is what Paul, you know, coming and speaking to the Israelite foreigners, uh, I was pushing on them heavy, you know, faith, faith, okay? First, I want to get y'all uh, to, you know, believe in Yahweh Shah and, and, and get y'all built up on faith, you know? And through faith, you know, you, you would start to, uh, you know, start keeping other law, statutes, and commandments. But what the, the, the scribes, and wicked scribes and Pharisees was doing is they were trying to push this, this heavy burden of the law, 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 Okay. Which was, you know, I they wasn't going off, you know, pushing the law, you know, but they had to be built up through faith first. Okay. Let's jump to verse 21. It says, is the law then against the promise of the promises of the most high? God forbid. For if, if there had been a law given which could have given life, verily righteousness should have been by the law. But the scriptures have concluded all under sin that the promise by faith of Yahweh Shah might be given to them that believe. But before faith came, we were kept under the law, shut up into the faith, which should be afterwards be revealed. Wherefore, the law was our schoolmaster to bring us into Yahweh Shah, that we might be justified by faith. Right. OK, because the law was our teacher. OK. The law was our schoolmaster. All right. To bring us into who? Yahweh Shah. That we might be justified by faith. Okay. For we are all children of the Most High by faith in Yahweh Shah. All right. So we are we're children of the Most High through the faith of Yahweh Shah. Okay. Not the law, law, law. Okay. Right, so more importantly, that's why I like to say, you know, this 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 thing is also about faith, man. Okay. Because you can't you let me just get the scripture. Galatians two verse sixteen. And it reads Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by faith of Yahweh Shah. Even we, even we have believed in Yahweh Shah, Mashiach, that we might be justified by the faith of Yahweh Shah, and not by the works of the law. Okay. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. Okay. So there's no, uh, no big thing of you should be boasting. On by the works of the law Okay You keep this You keep that I kept this high day uh, uh, More than you You know Or like IUIC used to Like to say all the time Where are your fringes at Okay I got my fringes on Where are yours at You're not an Israelite If you don't got your fringes on Come on man You gotta be wise as a serpent Humble as a dove You know you know, we're not going to be wearing fringes, having fringes on all our T-shirts, you know, having fringes on your socks, having fringes on your boxers. OK. You know, hey, because I heard I seen a video where uh, they, they, they make these type of statements. OK, where are your fringes at? You're not an Israelite if you don't got to keep your fringes on. So so what that means when you get out the shower, 
you know, for your, 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 your five, ten minute shower. You don't got your fridges on, you're not an Israelite no more. No, come on, man. You, you guys got to do better. Okay? Because what we, what, you know, what I personally tell people, you know, what we say is we got on our spiritual garments, okay? that That's what, you know, I'm more focused on and the other brothers can attest to it that we're more focused on our spiritual garments, okay? We're not worried about the outside of the garments and what the outside look, uh, the outside uh, uh, of our physical appearance look like. We're worried about, you know, the inward parts, you know? Cause that's when Yahweh Shai come back, he's gonna be looking at the spiritual garment. He's not gonna be looking at the physical garment. Oh, they got the nice garments on, you know. I'm, I'm gonna save him and him because their 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 garments are shiny and shiny and sparkly. No, he's gonna be looking at your spiritual garment. Okay. So let's read that again. Galatians 2 and 16. It says, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by faith of Yahweh Shai, even when we have believed in Yahweh Shai. That we might be justified by the faith of Yahweh Shai and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. Okay? So you're not going to be justified of trying to, uh, of keeping, trying to keep all the law, statutes, and commandments. And then trying to boast off it. About you keeping the law. Okay? Because an honest actuality is, you know, a lot of people break more laws than, than what they keep. Let's just, let's just keep it real. There's more of breaking more laws than actually of the laws that you keep here in this captivity. Come on, let's be real. It makes fabrics. Okay, uh, of all, if you if you if your your wife is not uh, getting one material and making all your different clothes, if your socks, you know, your boxers, your shirts, your, your your jeans or whatever, you got mixed fabrics, and we know according to the law that we shouldn't have mingled garments on. Okay, you know. Mingle uh, uh, fabrics, you know, for a better use of word. Uh, being around women on her menstrual cycle, okay. If you got to catch the bus, public transportation, uh, 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 your woman around your house, hey man, you're unclean. Yes, you're not, and, and there's, there's more to it, you know. You know, Esau could be putting pork uh, in different foods and not not labeling that pork is put in there, even though it might be out of ignorance. But you're still what breaking the law. You know, so that's why this thing is about faith. Okay. Verse 17, it says, but if while we seek to be justified by Yahweh Shai, we ourselves also are found sinners. Is therefore Yahweh Shai the minister of sin? God forbid. For if I build again the things which I have destroyed, I make myself an, an a transgressor. For I through the law am dead to the law that I might live unto the Most High. I am crucified, neither less I live, yet not I, not I, but how shall I live in me? The life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of the Most High, who loved me and gave himself for me. I do not frustrate the grace of the Most High, for if righteousness come by the law, for if righteousness come by the law, then Yahweh Shah is dead in vain. Okay, so and that's what you guys are saying, okay? So is Yahweh Shai dead in vain? Okay, if righteousness come by the law? Let's read that again. I do not frustrate the grace of the Most High. For if righteousness come by the law, I-U-I-C, for if righteousness come by the law, then Yahweh Shai is dead in vain. Okay, and that's plain, man. You know? So, hey man, this this y'all gotta y'all gotta uh, fix this false doctrine quick, man, quick, and, and start preaching the truth to the congregation because spilling this madness out here that uh, uh, you gotta be saved through keeping the commandments will make Yahweh and that then that's all righteousness will make Yahweh Shai being put on the cross in vain. All right. Galatians 2 verse 10 Like I uh, You know Back to this It says For whosoever shall keep the whole law And yet offend at one point He is guilty of all Okay For he that said Do not commit adultery Said also do not kill Now if that, thou commit no adultery Yet if thou kill Thou art become a transgressor of the law So speak ye and do so 
is they that shall be judged of the law of liberty. For ye shall have judgment without mercy that, that have showed no mercy, and mercy rejoices against judgment. What doeth it profit, my brethren, though a man say he have faith and have not works, can faith save him? If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled, notwithstanding ye give them not the things which are needful to the body, what doeth it profit? Even so, faith, if it have not works, is dead being alone. That's right. And like I said before, we show our faith through our works. Okay? Going out on the highways and byways each and every week. Okay? Teaching the word. Trying to wake up uh, the hopeful elect. All right? Condemning this place. You know? Giving judgment to the nations. Um, you know, uh, throwing little lessons on the internet, you know, trying to push his word and help wake brothers up. You know, um, also with what? You know, uh, teaching the true doctrine, you know, and trying to edify the ones out here that's, you know, sleep against this false doctrine of the other groups that are teaching. You know, uh, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. You know what I mean? So we show our faith, uh, our faith through the works that we're doing, okay? Let's, let's, verse, let's read 17 again. It says, even so faith, if it have not works, is dead being alone. Yea, man say that thou hast faith and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. Right, okay? Like I was saying before, we show our faith by our works, okay? We we show that we show the true uh, uh, the heavenly Father our faith that we truly believe in Him and, and love Him, you know, by doing the works as He said do. Okay, but we also believe. Okay, and we we preach faith. <laughs> All right. All right. So you know, the, basically, the point is. The point is, um, you won't be, uh, you won't, you cannot be saved by just keeping the commandments. You know that that's that's just false doctrine, okay? Because now you're saying that, like I read before in Galatians, that Yahweh is did in vain, okay? Galatians four verse one it says, "Now I say that." The hear, as long as he is a child, defer from, defer of nothing from his servant, though he be lord of all, but is under tutors and governors until the time appointed of the father. Even so, we, when we were children, were in bondage under the elements of the world. But when the fullness of the time was come, the Most High sent forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. That's right, okay? Receive them that were under the law, okay? Because we're not under the, we're not, we're not under the law, okay? We are under grace, right? But do we still keep the law? Yes, you know? But we're under a grace period right now because he knew we couldn't keep the whole law, okay? And if our forefathers couldn't keep the law back then, what makes you think we're gonna keep the whole law now? All right. Let's let me get that right. Show you that we're not under the law. Let's continue on that. Romans three verse twenty. It reads, it says, therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For the law, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. Right, there we go again. Therefore, by the deeds of the law, no man shall be justified. But now the righteousness of the Most High without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. He is the righteousness of the Most High, which is by, which is by faith of Yahweh Shai. 
and to all and upon all them that believe for there is no difference right and this is going to uh the jews and the israelite foreigners okay which were being called the gentiles for all for all have sinned and come short of the glory of the most high being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in yahweh whom the most high has set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are passed through the forbearance of the most high to declare i say that this to declare i say at this time his righteousness that he might be just in the justifier of him which believeth in yahweh Shai. where is boasting then it is excluded by what law of works nay but by the law of faith Therefore we conclude that a man is justified by the faith without the deeds of the law. Is he the God of the Jews only? Is he not also of the Gentiles, Israelites? Yes, also of the Gentiles also, which are Israelites. Verse 30, seeing it is one of the most high which shall justify the circumcision by the faith and the uncircumcision through faith. Do we then make void the law through faith? God forbid, yea, we establish the law. Right, so just because we preach, uh, uh, you know, faith, don't mean we don't establish the law. Because we tell our people to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay? But we tell, also tell them that this is a faith thing. Okay? This is, a, a, this is importantly about faith. Okay? Having faith in Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah. Okay? Having faith that. He's going to come back and, and, and redeem, you know, his elect with the holy angels. This is this is faith. Because in all its actuality, a lot of people don't believe in this, man. You know, you only can fake the funk for so long. All right. And guess what? Uh, in these up and coming times, your faith will be tested. OK, I just want to put that out there. Your faith will be tested. All right. So Romans 6 verse 14 it says For sin shall not have dominion over you For you are not under the law But under grace Like I was saying before okay But this is a grace period This is a grace period To, uh, to, to get ourselves together Okay You know not to do, do wickedly But the time that to rehearse the righteous acts Okay You know to build ourselves up Verse 16 it says Know you not that to whom ye, ye yield yourselves servants to obey as servants, you are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto the death or in obedience unto righteousness. Oh, no, okay, I was, I was, that was it on that. All right, that's all I wanted. 1 Peter 2 and 16. It says, as free... Verse 15 says, For so the will of the Most High that with well doing you may put to silence ignorance of foolish men as free and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, but as servants of the Most High. Right, okay. Because we're, we're under a grace period, we're under liberty right now, you know. But we, we don't use it to, do, to be wickedly or to be wicked, right? Because you don't, you don't use your liberty for a cloak of, of maliciousness, okay? Just because we're under a grace period right now, you can't just say, well, I'm going to uh, eat pork, I'm going to eat shrimp, you know, the unlawful food, you know, commit adultery, all these different things. No, okay? So we still guide ourselves uh, uh, or govern ourselves by the law to the best of our ability, okay? You don't, you don't use this time period, you know, to just do what you want. Hey, and that, because that's what them... Uh, them Christians doing these churches, man, you know, say the law is done away with and, and, and say, well, since we're under grace, we can do whatever the hell we want. And that's off, man. And they're going to be dealt with. All right. But stand on topic of Israel right now. OK. Philippians. 3 verse 1 it says finally my brethren rejoice in the lord to write the same things to you to me indeed is not grievous but for you it is safe 
Beware of dogs, beware of evil workers, beware of the concision. For we are for we are the circumcision which worship the most high in spirit and rejoice in Yahweh Shah and and have no confidence in the flesh, right? I don't have confidence in this this weak this these bodies, man. You know, these bodies are weak, wicked, subject to vanity. Okay, we don't have no confidence in them. You know? Hey, that's why through faith, you know, we want to be changed. Okay? A twinkling in the moment of the eye. We we want to be changed. Okay? Because these wicked bodies can't go with us. Alright. Verse 4 says, though I might also have confidence in the flesh, if any other man think of that he might, that he have wherever he might trust in the flesh, I more. Because this is, this is Paul speaking. You know, he's like, well, if anyone have a confidence in the flesh, I more. Let's see why. It says, the fifth, it says, circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, and Hebrew of the Hebrews, as touching the law, a Pharisee. Concerning zeal, persecuting the church, touching the righteousness which is in the law, blameless. Okay, so that's what Paul's saying. Like, look, if anyone trusts in the faith, I have more. Okay, but this is also what Paul says too, because, hey man, it's, it's beautiful just reading the letters of Paul, man. You know, what I mean, the whole all the scriptures, you know, but Paul, you know, lays it out on the table. That's you know, he got a lot of these letters. You know, you know, he's very humble, even though he knew a lot. You know, had a lot of large knowledge, was taught by Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. He um, was very humble. So let's read it again. Um, verse 6 is concerning zeal, persecuting the church, touching the righteousness, which is in the law, blameless. For what things were gained to me, those I counted lost for Yahweh Shah. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Yahweh Shai, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but them that I may win Yahweh Shai, and be found in him not having my own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Yahweh Shai, that the righteousness which is of the Most High which is of the most high by faith, right? So Paul saying, look, I count all this, all this, uh, you know, the things that I have, the things that I know, down that I may win you, how shall I? Okay. And that what? And be found in him not having my own righteousness. That's because that's what you guys at IUIC are doing. You're trying to establish your own righteousness according to the law. So and he be found and be and be found in him not having my own righteousness, which is of the law. That's you guys, are you I see, but that which is through the faith of Yahweh Shah, the righteousness which is of the most high by faith. Okay? And this is what we're, you know, on the streets also pushing as well, you know. Faith. Okay? Teaching teaching this and brothers trying to build them up through the faith. Okay. What you guys are doing, trying to do is, is, is putting burdens, you know, on different brothers that you can't keep. Okay? Just like what? The, the wicked scribes and Pharisees. Okay? Let's get that, Matthew 23. 1 verse 1. Start verse 1. It says, Then spake Yahweh Shad to the multitude and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. All therefore whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe and do, but do not after their works, for they say and do not. Okay. So that that that's you guys how you see. Okay, you say all these different things, you know, but you do not. Okay, keep this, keep that, keep this, keep that. You no, know, keep this, keep this. Law, 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 law. This is all you hear you pushing. Okay. Cause I remember even me myself, a testimony of myself first coming in. Uh, I listened to IUIC, and I used to just jot stuff down on the paper, write it down, and read it. And it was all law, 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 law. And the only prophecy that they used to say was, uh, I think I used to hear them. They say when they used to say when Christ comes back, you know that I don't even think I really heard them even say that. 
But the prophecy they used to say Deuteronomy 28:60. Okay, the prophecy that happened uh, unto us. Okay, if we was you know not keep the law, statutes, and commandments, that was it. You know, I never really, I never heard them preach about faith. You know, the destruction, the judgment, the things that's coming. None of that stuff. All I heard was the law. Okay. And at the same time, it was being hypocrites because what? I saw men with uh, bald heads. I seen men with shape-ups, you know? So, and they, and they still do that to, the, to this day. So, come on, man. They say and do not. For they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be born and lay them on men's shoulders, but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. Right, and the burdens is what? Uh, that keeping of the law. Because you're telling someone that, making this statement, or for or you order to you, it's a lot. For in order to you, for you to be saved, you have to keep the commandments. And if someone look at the, look in the scriptures and look at all the commandments, because we know there's over, there's 600, 613 law statutes and commandments. They're going, they're, in their mind, they're going to say, there's no way in hell or I don't want to use that term hell, but there's no way that I'm going to make it to the kingdom. Because that's what you're, you're shutting up the kingdom doing that. Okay, you're shutting up the kingdom of heaven uh, making that statement to people. Okay. So let's read four again. It says, For they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be born. And lay them on men's shoulders, but they themselves will not move them with one finger, right? And that's a heavy burden, you know? If I was just new to coming in the face and you was telling me, or for order to me be saved, keep the commandments, and I look and find out there's over 613 commandments on counting, you know, I will say there's no way I'm making it into the kingdom. There's just no way. There's no hope for me. Okay? Tell me I'm wrong. But they themselves will not move them with one with, with one of their fingers. Okay, let's jump to verse um, 13. It says, But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. For ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. Right. And you making that statement of shutting up the kingdom of heaven. All right. Hey, so all you out there, you, you need to repent, man. Okay, you need to repent because I don't, I don't know if you're reading, not reading for yourself, or you're getting taught this, or or whatever the case may be. But that's false doctrine, and if you don't repent for that, the heavenly Father going to deal with you. Okay. Now, just to close, just to to close out. Um, I want to get Philippians 1 and 17 Because, you know, many of you might come up on a common board or, 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 you know, replay the video and say Well, he's doing this out of strife And, you know, he's just hating and Or, you know, whatever you IUIC, you know, fathers like to say But to let you know is This is about the gospel This is about the doctrine Okay, this is about defending Yah by Shem And his words Okay Philippians 1 verse 17 But no other love knowing that I am set for defense of the gospel Okay So just like Paul was saying, you know And in, in, in faith I believe I believe and I will continue to do and defend the gospel of Yahusha When I uh, find a fault and see that when false doctrine is getting pushed out here Okay. Last uh, scripture, Second Timothy four. So the verse two it says, "Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine." And that's what I'm doing. I'm reproving and I'm rebuking, rebuking they of the them of the circumcision, teaching false doctrine. To the congregation of Israel Okay For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine But after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears Right, they're not enduring sound doctrine Okay Teaching people that in order to be saved you have to keep the commandments Is false doctrine Teaching people that uh 
you know, basically, say, what will you do do when your Howard Shad come back? Okay, what will you do if you don't have your garments on, physical garments? That's false doctrine. Okay, you know, uh, the new thing that IUIC is saying is, don't teach, um, don't speak on Esau, the so-called white man. That's not according to the doctrine because according to the doctrine of the scriptures, you have to speak on Esau, the so-called white man, because he's all throughout the scriptures. His wickedness, his judgment for what he did to the children of Israel, and he's a and the curse of what the Most High is going to do to him because he's the curse of the Heavenly Father. Okay, I mean, he, I mean, he's the he is the cursed of the Heavenly Father, and got to pay his judgment. Okay. So, so man, hey man, y'all you, you, gotta, you know, start uh, basically just just stick to the doctrine of the scriptures, man. All right. And they, verse four says, and they shall turn away from their ears from the truth, and shall be turned into fables. Right? They turn their ears away from the truth. They turn their ears away from what? The scriptures, because thy word is truth. So the scriptures is the truth. Okay. It says verse five it says, but what thou in all things endure afflictions through the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. All right. All right, so you know, without further ado, you know, we're gonna to continue to be a defense, set for a defense for the gospel. We're gonna continue rebuking and reproving the Israelites so that you can get right, okay, and all the others out there can uh you know, just 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 learn learn to learn the scriptures the right way, man. Okay. Hey, without further ado, you know I hope this was edifying. Hey, I'd like to give all praise, all honor, glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahusha, the one of the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Say it takes to you, brothers, to the four corners of the earth, teaching His word in truth and sincerity. In sincerity, Shalom.